So let's go to tier one then. And we'll try to work in, there's going to be six point per passing touchdown tiers, but we'll definitely work in some four point stuff as well. I'll put it in the notes. Um, all right, Heath, what's our first tier? Yeah, tier one is, I think everyone will agree, Mahomes, Allen, and Jalen Hurts in whatever order you want. I would say in a four point per pass touchdown league, I would not put Mahomes in the first tier. It would just be Allen and Hurts. Too small. This tier should be at least 10 people. Yeah, well, you were just talking about tier two with Justin Fields and uh, Joe Burrow and Lamar Jackson, so I assumed that we had some agreement on this. I apologize. No, no. Okay, so Mahomes, Allen, Hurts, and in a four-point per passing touchdown league, it's Allen, Hurts, and is Mahomes in his own tier? Um, No, I think I think in a four-point per pass touchdown league, he just falls down into the next tier. Oh, interesting. Because part of his big edge is the fact that we he projected for quite a few more touchdowns than anybody else passing touchdowns and so if you take away two points for every one of those it is a pretty big deal jamie how do you see it in a four point per passing touchdown league i think everyone in the world sees mahomes allen hurts in a six point per passing touchdown league as tier one what about in a four point i would still put mahomes in tier one with four points for passing touchdowns so i would still same three guys would he be last though mahomes he would be behind allen hurts yes Okay. All right. What's tier two? Interesting question here. I think this is where the controversy starts. In tier two, I would only have Burrow, Lamar Jackson, and Justin Fields. Um, I, I don't have Justin Herbert or Trevor Lawrence in that tier. Um, I actually think Herbert probably belongs in a tier of his own because you could make a better argument for him than anyone else to join tier two with these three guys. It was just so miserable last year that it's hard to do that. I would put those those four guys together: Jackson Fields, Burrow, and Hurts, and Herbert. Okay, Jackson Fields, Jackson Fields, Burrow. At least there's consensus there between the two of you, right? And Herbert for Jamie. Heath has. And I Herbert think, to be honest, a lot of people would probably put Burrow in the first year. <sighs> let's that let's let's explore that. Does Burrow have that same upside? Uh, where he could approach 30 fantasy points per game and a six point per passing touchdown league, like we've seen from Mahomes, Allen, and Hurts. I would say that more people than not would probably say that he has the best chance to get there from a passing standpoint. I think he has, I would definitely agree with that last caveat that Jamie added. Um, he has the best chance to get there from a passing standpoint. Um, I think because of the way that rushing counts. I think it's more likely that Fields or Lamar finishes as QB1 than Burrow. Uh, let me just see. So he averaged in nine games with Chase and Higgins, both healthy, not leaving early. The, the best, best sample size right. of Joe Burrow. He averaged 28 and a half points per game in six point per passing touchdown leagues. 23 and a half and four point. You probably can't make the case of Burrow being in a in tier one and four point, right? No. No. Not if but you're especially point. knocking Mahomes though. In six point, his his pace was four thousand nine hundred and forty five yards, forty two touchdowns, six interceptions, plus two hundred and twenty three rushing yards and four rushing touchdowns. He did have, by the way, three one yard rushing touchdowns last year, five overall. I don't know if he'll be able to repeat that, but but that is a compelling case right there. Twenty eight and a half points per game. In the nine games with a fully healthy Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, not leaving early with injury. Does that, does that do it for you? Again, I would put him, like for me, he's behind Fields and the Jackson and Fields because of the rushing. So he's in tier two. But I think if you look at the way most people draft, most analysts draft, and probably the way ADP is going to shake out, he is probably closer to the top three than he is to those two. Uh, yeah, but I but I could not take him in the second round. I'm sure you guys couldn't either, Joe Burrow. No, no, but I I think what we're going to see is because quarterbacks get are going to get pushed up that a lot of people are going to consider it. You know, so it comes down to we know what the the flaws are for for Lamar Jackson and Justin Fields. Jackson hasn't finished the last two seasons. Fields has yet to prove himself over you know a, a full season. Certainly has a, a room to grow as a passer. Joe Burrow has established himself. Like he he is that next guy. You know, so, but fantasy wise, he still has some room where he can get better. And, and it would take him having that 5,000 yard season, that 45 touchdown season, you know, limiting the receptions, running a little bit more. Could he do it? Absolutely. I, I would not put it past him. Like, I, I think if you're looking at it from, for again, for me, if I'm, if I'm drafting just based on tiers, if you tell me I get Burrow or Herbert based on how I have it ranked, I love it. 
But again, I think most people are going to take Burrow ahead of Jackson and Fields. Right. But you're saying that you have that you'd rather take Herbert at his value than Burrow. I saying? would rather take Herbert at his value than any of these guys because I'm still, as much as I, I would love to get one of these quarterbacks, I would still love to wait as well because I think the upside for Herbert is still there. You know, I don't think he, what happened last year does not sway me from where I think Herbert's going to finish. Okay. 